Hey there! Today we're diving into a crucial tool for sustainability, Sustainable Life Cycle Assessment or SLCA. In a world that's grappling with climate change and resource depletion, understanding the environmental impacts of our products is more important than ever. So what exactly is Sustainable Life Cycle Assessment and how can it help us to create a more sustainable future? Let's find out! In order to get a better understanding about SLCA, we will first look at its definition. In essence, SLCA is a method that's used to evaluate the environmental, social and economic impacts associated with a product or service throughout its entire life cycle. From raw material extraction to manufacturing, distribution, use and disposal. It consists of four main phases. 1. Goal and Scope Definition In the first phase we have to clarify the purpose of the SLCA and what product or process will be evaluated. It's important to set clear boundaries about what stages of the life cycle will be included and decide whether we focus on a single product or compare multiple products with each other. 2. Inventory Analysis the second phase encompasses the collection of data on all inputs and outputs associated with the product. We look at raw materials, energy consumption, emissions and waste generation. This step is vital because accurate data is the backbone of a successful SLCA. 3. Impact Assessment In the third phase we evaluate the potential environmental impacts based on the inventory data. Common impact categories include climate change, water use, air pollution and human health. Various methods are used to assess these impacts, allowing us to understand the overall footprint of our product. 4. Analysis and Interpretation The fourth phase involves interpreting and analyzing the findings to draw conclusions and make recommendations. It's crucial to communicate these results effectively to stakeholders, ensuring that the insights lead to actionable improvements. Now that we've defined sustainable life cycle assessment and its four phases, it's important to understand why it matters in practice. Let's explore some key benefits. 1. Informed decision making. First, SLCA supports informed decision making. By understanding a product's environmental impact, companies can make choices that minimize harm to the planet. This knowledge can drive innovation in product design and material selection. 2. Regulatory Compliance Next, SLCA aids in regulatory compliance. As governments tighten environmental regulations, companies that conduct SLCA are better equipped to meet these standards. It provides the data necessary to demonstrate compliance and avoid potential penalties. 3. Identifying improvement opportunities SLCA also helps to identify opportunities for improvement. By pinpointing the stages of the life cycle with the most significant impacts, businesses can focus their efforts where they will make the most difference. Be it in sourcing sustainable materials, optimizing manufacturing processes or enhancing end-of-life recycling. 4. Competitive Advantage In today's market, sustainability can be a significant competitive advantage. Consumers increasingly prefer brands that demonstrate environmental responsibility. An SLCA can enhance a company's reputation and attract a loyal customer base. 5. Cross-disciplinary collaboration Lastly, SLCA encourages cross-disciplinary collaboration. It brings together different departments like R&D, marketing and operations to work towards common sustainability goals. This collaboration can lead to innovative solutions and a more cohesive approach to sustainability. While sustainable life cycle assessment is a very powerful tool, it also has its challenges. Some of the main hurdles that can occur when conducting an SLCA are Data availability and quality Collecting accurate and comprehensive data can be difficult, especially for products with multiple components. In some cases, you may need to rely on estimates or generic data which can undermine the assessment reliability. 
Complexity of products. Many products come from complex supply chains and consist of many different components, making it difficult to assess the entire life cycle accurately. This can lead to gaps in data sets and potential inaccuracies in the impact assessment. Variability in methodologies. Additionally, there is variability in SLCA methodologies. Different organizations may use different standards and approaches, making it challenging to compare results across studies. Interpretation and communication. Finally, interpreting and communicating SLCA results can be challenging. The findings may be technical and complex, making it difficult for non-experts to understand. Therefore, effective communication is crucial. In order to illustrate the value of sustainable life cycle assessment, we will look at some successful practical examples. The cosmetics industry. The first example comes from the cosmetics industry, where a company conducted a sustainable life cycle assessment to evaluate the environmental impact of their shampoo packaging. They discovered that the design of their shampoo tubes was a major contributor to their carbon footprint. By redesigning the packaging, the company was able to reduce excess air in shipments, improving efficiency. This change led to a huge decrease in emissions per product, benefiting both the environment and the company's profit through cost savings. The construction industry. Second, we will take a look at the construction industry, where a company used an SLCA to evaluate the environmental impact of the materials that are planned for a new building project. The assessment revealed that some of the materials were quite harmful, prompting the company to replace them with more sustainable alternatives like cork insulation, bamboo and natural stone. This shift not only reduced the project's environmental impact, but also improved its chances of earning a green building certificate. The electronics industry. Finally, let's explore an excellent example from an electronics manufacturer that conducted a sustainable life cycle assessment on a popular smartphone model and discovered that a large portion of its environmental impact occurred at the end of life stage. In response, the company launched the Take Back program, enabling customers to return all devices for recycling. This initiative helped to reduce waste and enhance the brand's reputation as a leader in sustainability. As we've seen today, we can conclude that sustainable life cycle assessment is an essential tool for understanding and mitigating the environmental impacts of products. By analyzing each stage of a product's life cycle, we are able to make informed decisions that lead to competitive advantages and a more sustainable future. If you found this video informative, please give it a like and share your thoughts about sustainable life cycle assessment in the comments below. If you would like to know more about sustainability in general, please hit that subscribe button and check out the other videos on my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time!